Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 5 which will be on direct editing. So in this lesson, we will learn how to simplify a feature of the model. We will do a DE pattern as well as a DE move. Okay, so what is actually DE edit? So you can see that actually this part that I have opened over here, it does not have any history. So you can actually see that without history, it's very hard for us to change uh, the features, maybe I want to move this over here, I want to change the number of pockets to 4, it's actually very hard without a history. So with the direct edit function, we can actually directly edit the part without having the need to have the part's history. Okay, so we take a look at this part over here, we will go to direct edit ribbon bar here, okay, we will click on simplify. Okay, so now we're trying to simplify the shape here. So we will remove one of this pocket over here. So what we will do is we will actually select this filter list to be face and this part here to be pocket. So they will select uh, your pocket easily. Okay, so once we click the base here, it will select your whole pocket. Okay, remember to also select one part of this chamfer here, then they will select the whole of the chamfer. Okay, then we click on OK and you see that your part is actually simplified without this part here. Okay, so now we will be doing a DE pattern. Okay, so you click on DE pattern. You select your option to be circular because you want to move it circular. Okay, your base, same thing, you will do the filter as face and pocket. Click on the pocket here. Okay, and then one of the chamfer. The direction you will input as 0, 0 and 1. Okay, you want 4 pockets instead of 5 now. Put them at an angle of 90 degrees apart and then you click OK. So you see, now you have 4 pockets at 90 degrees apart. Next, we'll do a DE move. Okay, I will select rotate entities around a direction. Okay, the faces I will click on my pocket and chamfer the direction I will actually input same as before 0, 0, 001 and the angle I put as 20 okay so you can see that the shape has actually moved 20 degrees then I click on OK and then it will be done so this is the end of lesson 5 so in lesson 6 we will be actually teaching you how to create 2D drawings